All right, I'm standing here with Scott from Sika and uh, we will talk about Sika as a brand and also about their latest bike mm -hmm. called Sika Spear and this one is a limited edition RDC. Sika was a brand born in Shanghai, was a Chinese brand. Um, so Sika is one of very special brands that really designed bikes. It depends on the rider's input and rider's need. We uh, what does a rider's need is the first questions asked in our mind. So that the riders need a high performance bike, yeah. right? Does it need to be light and stiff? And does it have to be, you know, more comfort? And all the, uh, the input from the riders um, mm -hmm. itself uh, gave us the design elements for each Seacast were built. Yeah, uh, so, and, uh, can I ask you, for example, how do you ensure that the frame is stiff when I'm sprinting, but also comfortable when, when I'm riding on uh, bumpy roads? Yeah, of course. To make it stiff, we need to choose the correct materials, okay. which is very special texturing, you know, Mitsubishi Chemicals 65T, 80T, which is ultra high module uh, carbon fibers. Uh -huh. um, you can compare it with, you know, Torre T1100, which is almost you know, double the stiffness uh, uh, index. So you add a lot of uh, special materials in the five-way, we call it the five-way of the bot bottom bracket area. And also you want a good torsional force uh, in the head tube area. And now what we did is we introduced the wind eye structure. Yeah. So this one is actually a very um, performance focused structure. So it's creating a lot of um, vertical compliance, so you do have a lot of vibrations from the bottom brackets, from the wheels, so mm -hmm. this way and this way, and it damps the vibrations. Okay. And because it, it is so thin, if you want to take a look in front of the wind eye, the structure structure was so thin that mm -hmm. uh, you know there's more uh, flex range. Um, a, mid, a, a saddle also is designed to be uh, uh, very light, okay. but also it's so skinny, and so there's more flax on the seat post. Yeah. Um, that is why we ensure the rider's comfort uh, when doing a long ride. You want to enjoy it, not true, just true. Uh, yeah, you know, spend the effort, but also improve yourself yeah. with the performance. Why should people buy Sika and not other Chinese brand? Like, what makes you so special? Because your brand is, uh, let's say, one third of a price more expensive than some other competitors, like Windspace Agile, for example. Yep. But uh, is it worth it? That's the question people ask the most often. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think not only one third of the, the money, uh, but maybe almost doubled. Oh, uh, almost, but yeah. uh, what you pay is the performance that the bikes can provide, the value itself. And you know, a good uh, service mm -hmm. with you know, a more dealership array that you know, customers can get a better service is very important. Yeah. We got lifetime warranty on the frames, and we got uh, you know different choice on the uh, on the seat post, mm -hmm. uh, different choice for the handle handlebars. I see. Um, it's or a complete package that you know to uh, to serve the riders fit. We have five standard geometries and two racing two geometries. Two racing ones. So they have a lower head tube, uh, and and more lo aggressive, yeah. more yes, aggressive, more aggressive positions. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, it depends on what, what the riders need. If they want to go, you know, full arm race, here we have the race geometry. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you want a, a, a zero setback saddle, you can choose. Okay. Um, different uh, size of handlebars, 19 sizes, you can choose. Um, That's perfect. Yeah. yeah, it's always flexible to the customers. When you talked about the service and, uh, yeah, especially customer service, uh, you are building your presence here in Europe, right? Yes. And currently there is only like one dealership uh, in the Netherlands, I believe. In the, the Florian bikes. One, yes. And I've heard some complaints that, uh, they do, uh, that uh, the potential customers don't get the replies. So okay. yeah, how difficult it is to build good partnerships and uh, yes. so basically we are, provide we, a good service. We are building up the whole system, the distribution ship. So uh, I think for different Chinese brands, the most difficulties is to get uh, you know, a store, a stock in the, yeah, the Europe true, that, true. you know, it can be once a problem with the frame, it can be swapped immediately. Yeah. And that is what we are doing. Uh, we are building up the distribution system. We are, we are having the stock ready 
in the Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, we are having a brand new website. Yeah. Uh, who can register the bike? Who can you know send in forms that can be quickly checked and quickly get serviced Perfect. within the Europe. Yeah. All right, uh, so let's talk about the technical specifications of this frame. Uh, okay. This is the RDC uh, model, right? Yes, uh, this is one of the limited edition color of the RDC. Uh, so RDCs are more stiffness and uh, a lightweight structure. So um, a medium size uh, RDC frame without paint is 685 grams. Okay. Well, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and the paint adds about 100 grams or 150? Uh, it depends on different paints. So if you take the lightest one, which is uh, the black one, okay. uh, Shuttle Black, is uh, with the paint is 730 grams. All right. And yes. we are talking about the RDC model and the non-RDC is about 100 grams yeah, heavier, Yeah, it's about right? 95 grams heavier. Um, but since there's no, you know, different materials picked mm -hmm. uh, to use with the standard one, different material used for the RDC, uh, sure. you know, there's uh, a little bit heavier. I see, I see, yeah. And uh, what about the tire clearance? Uh, for example, if it's stated that the tire clearance is 35 or? Right now it's 20, uh, 32, 32 millimeter uh, is the actual width. So you need to have a little bit four millimeters clearance around the tires. That's why we picked 32 because uh, uh, different brands of tires could be expand a little bit once yeah. inflated. And especially if, if the rim width is wider, you also get a wider tire, right? Yes, so, yes. Yeah, for example, I'm riding 28 millimeter tires, but mm -hmm. if I have a wide rim, yes. uh, they are like 32 millimeters when inflated, so yes. it's a huge difference. Yes. I also noticed that the, these bottle cages are different from each other. Yes. Uh, th does it have any meaning? It, like it is designed to be aerodynamic with the frame. Uh, as you can see, the, it matches the down cube ship uh, that fill up the vacuum area, so less turbulence will be created. Yeah. So we designed this for the down tube and another one for the seat tube. Mm -hmm. um, this is also uh, one of the package inside the package of the frame sets. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, as well as the, the carbon uh, uh, is CFRP uh, bottle cage. We also have the handlebars. It's the new Reapier handlebars. It's a fully aerodynamic, you know, very thin and we control the frontal area uh, and it's very ergonomically. I tested it myself, it's very comfy on the hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the wind eye, you tested this in a wind tunnel, you had uh, dozens of uh, different iterations of this, right? Yes, we tested uh, in the wind tunnel, Silverstone Engineering Hub in okay. UK uh, with Aerocoff team and we tested the different uh, types and ships so that we, we find the best solutions. Also, before we go to the internal, is the CFD stage. So it's a computational uh, fluid yeah. dynamic. Yeah. Every uh, modern frame is firstly designed yes. in, uh, in, on a computer, right? And then yep. translated into some prototypes. And yes, this is already the final package and uh, it performs really well. Great, thanks for your time and uh, yeah. uh -huh. hopefully I will ride this one in the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>